Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. And in this video, I want to talk about how I would personally address the healer issue that is currently in WoW. So if you're not aware of the healer issue, we've talked about it in a couple of videos now. Um, at the moment, we are starting to see this increase in one tank for DPS groups, as well as um, we're also starting to see this kind of potential for supports to be added in WoW, both of which are pushing healers a little bit further out of the meta. Now, how would I address this personally? So this isn't something I can see them doing this expansion. This is likely going to be something that would be brought in across another expansion. Um, but my idea would be to effectively incorporate the current healers and make them more supporting. Now, they obviously don't want to go down this route of making huge healer checks, which require just absurd amounts of healing because, well, they had that in Dragonflight and they opted away from it. So if that's not the direction they want to go, then give more reason to bring a healer to a group, right? So, and my way of doing that would be to almost double down on some of the things we've already seen over the years from some of these classes already. So let's take things like a Resto Shami as an example. Um, they could have short duration, short cooldown totems that benefit their group quite substantially. And there would be an active skill level there in terms of being able to balance certain totems at certain times. So some examples of totems would be like Earthen, Earthen Wall Totem, which we already see in the game anyway. Um, maybe a minor bloodlust totem that you could have up pretty much all of the time for extra damage. Um, and it would be the onus would be on the shami then to rotate through these totems to maximize the benefits of the group. Now Obviously, doing this allows people to... A chamois will be DPSing. He'll be healing to keep the group alive. But he'll also be providing buffs to the group that allow the group to perform better. So he may not be as viable as a DPS. But you'd still want to bring one because overall it's likely to be better for your group. Um, and, and so I think you could do this quite comfortably with every healer. So I've gone through a couple. You have Holy Paladins, which could be this melee, tanky healer that focus on things like group mitigation and you know, minor empowerments, blessings, things like that, which we already see some of these things in the game already. We've seen things like Divine Sacrifice, which is currently a huge thing in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, which could easily be incorporated to Paladins. You could have um, Blessing of Sacrifice, group-wide Blessing of Sacrifice, um, which really rolls into kind of this noble paladin that, whatever, it really fits into this class fantasy. Um, and obviously blessings are currently already in the game, so it wouldn't be hard to see them actually made viable and, and decent and turned into some level of support utility. Now, I think you're always going to have or want to have something like a disciplined priest, which focuses on shields and and being a caster DPS healer. Um, you would have the same with Monk. Monk would be a melee DPS healer. Um, again, you don't have to turn them all into like buff supports. You'd think of other games like League of Legends, right? You've got some enchanters like Lulu. does minimal damage, but focuses very heavily on buffs. You've also got other supports like Brand, which you know, isn't there, doesn't provide any benefit to your group at all, really, other than the fact they just do lots and lots of damage. Um, you have things like Lux, does a lot of damage, um, but also brings, like, small amounts of utility, brings a shield, brings a root, things like that. Uh, so you could have Holy Priest be this empowerment-type healer, channeling holy beams into people and things like that. Um, Evoker, we're already seeing this kind of Black Dragonflight thing anyway and i think they could fit a really nice like debuff role to being a support healer so bring lots of debuffs we're already seeing things like a pressing raw increased crowd control duration stuns um a slow damage reduction things like that um you've got resto druids which i think they're really missing a trick with resto druids into turning them into an actual shapeshifter now People are going to look at me and go, well, they are a shapeshifter. What are you talking about? You're mental. Um, but actually, 
if you had a shapeshifter where like kitty weaving wasn't just something to maximize damage, it was actually a viable playstyle. You know, jumping into cat, you're getting like predator swiftness from spending combo points, which means you can heal while in cat. Um, as boomy, I don't know, maybe during like star surge, you, you're gonna heal someone or I don't know, like you, you could turn different roles within a a, a resto druid's kit into actual viable things that can be used to either buff or help the group. Like I said, cat could easily be predator swiftness. Um gonna help heal as a cat and kind of off heal during cat while also kicking out DPS. Bear could quite easily be some kind of I don't know like similar to Holy Paladin in terms of like group wide mitigation during bear. Um Boomkin could be something where people are doing more ranged magic damage or whatever you know what i mean like all of these different things you could easily turn these healers into kind of supporty enough that they aren't broken but still much more viable and interesting to bring than they currently are and i think any of these in that current state would be better than just what they've kind of done with resto shammy at the moment which is okay their resto shammies are brought currently because they just do the most damage right they can heal and they do the most damage or holy paladins are brought because they have one buff that we need or you know that sort of thing so um we've typically seen healers especially in an m plus meta be brought it's the highest dps healer that's been brought whereas you could have different healers for different scenarios and you'd see things like MDI, where currently you have DPS and tanks change, but typically the healer will either fill a role that's missing, or they'll be someone that's, they'll play the same class for the entire MDI. Whereas tanks may change based on certain cooldowns that are needed, or certain benefits to being certain tanks in, in runs, or DPS may change. I said you might need a rogue for a shroud, or a mage for a bloodlust, that sort of thing. So it really is one of those things that um, you, you could do a lot with healer to make it much more viable. Um, so I'm really interested to see what you guys have to think about this. Is it something you'd like to see? Is it something you think would be viable? And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and catch you later. Goodbye.